Good evening, this is the National Weather Service in the New York, New York office, and this is a weather briefing on the upcoming coastal storm for November 26th and the morning of November 27th, and this briefing was prepared at 4 p.m. Low pressure will bring a threat of heavy snow, heavy rain, and strong winds Wednesday through Wednesday night, and some of the potential hazards include heavy snow west and north of New York City, mainly from Wednesday afternoon through Wednesday night. Uh, we'll be seeing rain changing to snow with some accumulation certainly possible along the coast Wednesday night and the potential for urban flooding during the day on Wednesday. Northeast winds 20 to 30 miles per hour along the coast Wednesday afternoon become northwest 15 to 30 miles per hour Wednesday night. There is some forecast uncertainty with this event. Um, the track and intensity of the low is one uncertainty. As you can see here on this map uh, from the Weather Prediction Center, this is the track of the, of the low, the most likely scenario, but these all these little diamonds here, this is now Wednesday evening, the low is in certainly, uh, there's many different possible locations for this low pressure system. And this is very, this has uh, bearings on the, the forecast and the actual outcome that we see. Since there's no strong high pressure to the north, this is going to make precipitation type along the coast very difficult. A track closer to the coast brings warmer air in with mainly rain. But if the track is a little bit further offshore, colder air will come in and help to keep the, the precipitation as snow or more snow will occur. So there's the potential for heavy snow. We have a winter storm watch across our interior counties. As shown here, if you're along the coast, we are expecting some accumulating snow, but we are not expecting our potential for warning criteria snows, which is six or more inches within 12 hours. This watch goes from Wednesday 7 a.m. through 7 a.m. on Thursday. Here's our storm total snow forecast. Again, you can see the higher amounts of snow across the interior and in our inland counties, and the snow amounts lessen as you get towards the coast. Across southeastern Long Island, there may not there be very little snowfall accumulation. And uh, as you head in toward the city, uh, there could be four to six inches across the northern part of the city and two to four inches across the southern part of the city. Here's an experimental graphic. Uh, this is the probability of a six inch snowfall across the region. And again, this helps to show that the higher probabilities of a six inch snowfall are across the interior of the lower Hudson Valley and interior southern Connecticut. And those probabilities drop off as you head closer to the coast. But they are not zero. And then as you head towards southeastern Long Island, that is where it is very unlikely that we will see a six inch snowfall from this event. Again, this is just experimental. This is to show that the probability of a six inch snowfall, what that is. And you can access these maps on the website listed below, but please be aware this is currently in a test mode and these are experimental. These are not official products. The snow forecast, with temperatures near or just above freezing, we are expecting a wet snowfall. The maximum hourly rate up to one inch, especially, per, uh, especially where the winter storm watch is in effect and we are not expecting any blowing or drifting snow due to the wet snowfall. And here is the precipitation forecast. This is just a liquid equivalent. Um, this is rain and all melted snow and or ice. Again, we're not expecting any ice in this event, but this just shows the rain and melted snow. And just a brief outlook for Thanksgiving, as you might expect uh, with this system, you might, you might be wondering what Thanksgiving is going to be. Uh, well, we are going to warm up into the mid-30s, uh, all the way to the lower 40s, especially closer to the coast. There is a slight chance of rain and snow showers across southeast Connecticut and the Twin Forks until about 10 a.m. and maybe some afternoon snow showers across western Orange County, but overall, largely the day will be dry and northwest winds around 10 miles per hour, so the winds will also be starting to come down. In the morning, though, uh, there may be some wind chills in the 20s, uh, maybe rising into the 30s during the afternoon. So if you have any questions, you can visit our website, you can read our area forecast discussion, and also see our hazardous weather outlook, which we'll be updating again overnight. And always look at, follow us on Facebook and Twitter, and we will be providing with updates as we get closer to the event. Thank you for watching.